Hello everyone, this is our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for April 10th, 2025. The 17th episode of Kilauea's ongoing summit eruption began Monday night, April 7th at 10.15 p.m. and lasted 35 and a half hours until 9.45 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Episode 17 was unique in that it produced the shortest lava fountains um, in a while, the, the shortest one since episode 7 back in late January. The fountains in episode 17 uh, peaked around 200 feet or 60 meters high. You're seeing here some video of the second day of the eruption uh, as it was winding down and the fountains were dropping in size a bit here. Um, if we look at a plot of the maximum fountain height during each episode, you can see here episode 17 uh, is the lowest since late January and breaks a pattern that we had our last two episodes reaching 1,000 feet during episodes 15 and 16 here. So from the S2 camera in the south, the time lapse shows the eruption starting at night, tiny bit of glow, action comes from the south vent, and later on a north vent joins in, but primarily we're erupting from the south vent during this episode. The fountains don't get very high, but they feed this continuous stream of lava uh, into the crater of Hale Ma'uma'u, eventually covering 40% of the area of the crater floor, according to the USGS HBO. If we look at the view from the side of the crater in the B2 view, we see lava flow come across overnight. And then we see this bulging of the crater floor as lava appears to inject beneath this crust and move from the vent area towards the camera to the east here, uh, about the same time as the fountains shut off. So this is something we've seen in the past in other episodes that the lava injects, diverts from the fountains and injects beneath the crust and the episode shuts off. And correspondingly, if we look at the B1 camera further from the east, we see the source at the western part of the crater floor, followed by the ooze-ups on the eastern part after all the, the fountains are over and the lava has stopped flowing through the overflow channels here. So that's a typical sequence we see there. This is all happening still within Halema'uma'u, the inner crater of the main caldera of Kaluapele on Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park uh, with the vents at the southwest. And we have an image taken of the thermal layout with that long lava river all the way to the eastern part of the crater floor. And doing so, in a series of stages, first from an event to a perch lava pond, through channelized overflows, and similarly to what we saw last week, having distal ooze-outs in the eastern part of the crater floor there. As before, the eruption has resumed inflating following the deflation that accompanied the episode. And according to the USGS, which records these official start and end times for the eruption here, the next episode, episode 18, is likely to begin in the next five to eight days, according to preliminary data. Otherwise, it's been fairly quiet in a volcano. Earthquakes are pretty low, uh, hardly any signal under the summit, and mostly we see the south flank and the Pahala zones, and even they are in reduced activity. Looking at the main impact of this eruption, it's still gas and the tephra, including Pele's hairs, this satellite capture of the SO2 cloud is showing that the winds were largely blowing this material to the southwest and then wrapping it offshore of Hawaii Island, limiting the impact to some degree. If we look at the VMAP forecast dashboard, we can see that looking at the particulate matter, there is still some of that SO4 in the area of the Kona coast, but it looks to be clearing out with continuing dominant trade winds here over the next 48 hours or so. We can look at the impact on our citizen science monitoring network through purple air and see that there are some elevated particulate readings on the Kona coast, although nothing um, extremely alarming. That's our summary for Kilauea. On Mauna Loa, it's still very quiet. Here are only a few earthquakes under the summit area, all of small magnitude. Earthquakes per month over the last five years shown here shows how low we continue to to shake the volcano um, even as it continues to inflate with magma. And we know that because 
as we track this up and down GPS monitor at Mauna Loa Summit, we can see that it's continued to rise for all of the last year here. And that's our Hawaiian Book Consumer for today.